That's me on the bottom feeder. Thirteen miles underwater. Can't see nothing when you're this deep. Why I live here is a mystery. But here I am, sifting through the seabed for what's been left behind. It's a dull life, yeah, it's my life. Feeding off the bottom, feeding off the bottom. And that's me, picking at some whale bones for what's left of them at least. See the big fish, got here first. Cause they're better than me. the bottom when you're already out of your debt but it's my life around it not a soul not a sound just the water even though it's rough there's still no swimming up see the pressure out the water man it weighs a fucking ton and i'm way too weak to fight it man i'm way too weak to try so that's me the bottom feeder 13 miles underwater can't see nothing when you're this deep. Why I live here is a mystery.
feels like I'm drowning. Feels like a well. It's been ripped apart at the seams. Just keep breathing. Got to keep breathing before I fall inside myself. Can you see what I'm seeing? Plastic bags in an ocean that's far from blue. Wear your shoes unless you want to know what's underneath you. Soaking up their suit with their big coats on. Trying to catch themselves a time before the summer's gone. The kids are right beside them, necking cans of cider. Oh, wow, grandma's crying. This old town. To himself, spending every single penny trying to cover up the clouds. It ain't working, it ain't working. Is it always smell like this behind the beach? Just all the owners have an needle kiss their skin. Then the tourists wander in and get bored before it ends. Can't afford the rules they rent, nor can we, the people who live here. Victorian flat shares, decked out in dead chairs, moved out a man who's been here 50 years. Of playing, 
If you believe in deceive, common sense says shouldn't receive. Let me take you down the corridor. Give me a reason to love you.
like he lived it. Surrounded by his birds in every room, he kept a few. So he never feel alone for 20 years. He loved them like a father loves his sons. Never locked them up in cages. They were free to live their lives, provided it was inside the house where he had all they need. See, the birds were his priority. They came before his sanity. Even when he stopped, the birds came first. But it wasn't enough. It was never enough. And a bike marks and a beaks looking at his eyes. It was enough to drive any man my eyes. And if that wasn't enough, the noise they made definitely was. All he heard was 50 birds, Kirsty and they kept them fed. Should have seen a mess they left as well. Flocks of flies and empty shells. Still he lived amongst the filth for 20 long and lonely years. He gave his soul to them. But it wasn't enough, it was never enough, they wanted more. Thin, you'd never see him. The look in the eyes of the birds when he finally snapped. So confused, he had the windows boarded up and just left them. When I sang, let him fire, turn his back, cause he didn't have the guts to watch his whole world burn. His whole life turned to feathers and dust. It was too much. Hello, we're Moby Dickless. Uh, we're from Manchester and Portugal. She's from Portugal. We're not from Portugal. But I'm Slaf. And who are you? I'm Maria. I play the guitar. What do you play, Slaf? I play the bass. I forgot to say that. <laughs> I'm Freddie. I play the drums. Well, Massive Attack for me is massive. Uh, yeah. Part of said as well. I don't know if you guys saw, if you watched the whole thing, we did a Potter's Head cover, because we loved them. Who else do we like, guys? Uh, Kruang Ben. Oh, yeah. We also like hmm, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Oh, Bobby D. Yeah. He's the best. We also be like, Bad Bad Not Good. Shoot, yeah. Bad Bad Not All Good. Right. They're pretty good. Pretty jazzy. Pretty jazzy. Yeah, I feel like we take inspiration from a lot of places as well. Like. Mm. Like different genres. Yeah, I think that's kind of the point though, isn't it? It's like a lot of the artists we listen to, they do the same thing. It's not like they're just trying to fit in one box, in it. They're all just taking influences from everywhere. Yeah. And that makes them have their own sound, you know? Yeah. So that's what we're trying to do. Sorry to interrupt you. It's okay. But uh, recently, um, you said one of your vocal styles was uh, Alex Turner inspired. I think I was joking, Fred. <laughs> oh, wait. Lou that's Reed. Sting, Damn. Oh, that's, well, yeah, I can't sing that Sting, but his bass playing, oh, I think I rammed enough about Sting in previous interviews, but <laughs> love Sting. Lou Reed as well, if we're talking vocally. Nick Cave, Lou Reed, uh, and Bobby D are my three favourite singers, but not singers. I think that's why I like them. Because yeah. I can't sing. <laughs> so when we got together, we were listening to a lot of Death Grips at the time as well. Oh, uh, yeah, Death Grips. So, yeah. I haven't listened to them yet, but uh, they sound pretty, pretty wild. They're pretty heavy, man. Yeah. yeah. But you Should know, I listen to them? Yeah, you should. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we'll be able to replicate them at all, guess, but we can try. Yeah. Yeah, Death Grips. <laughs> so, 
We all went to the same uni. Uh, that was what, like four or five years ago? It was five years Long ago. Time. Long, Long time. time. Um, and for briefly, we all were at uni at the same time. And we were like sort of because we were just playing in different bands, innit? Because it was the start of uni, so everyone was just sort of mingling. And I think mm. I met Maria. We were doing a Bjork cover. And I was like, whoa, there's someone who could play Bjork. <laughs> Which Bjork song? Which one was it? Because I learned the wrong one, I remember. I learned Army of Me, but it was another song we had to learn. I can't remember. It's that was long. great. <laughs> oh, that was with Summer Goodall, man. She was sound, dude. Mm. Uh, we did Jeff Buckley as well. Ah, oh, that was good. Yeah. yeah. And then with Fred, I just put on Facebook, I said, oh, I need a drummer, man, someone who can play some hip-hop and some other jazzy stuff. Yeah. And Fred was the first guy to message yeah. me. He put a post, as a picture of like a sheep. It was <laughs> like, can anyone play hip-hop or whatever? And then I just went and met him. Yeah. And then met Maria a bit later. Yeah. But yeah, we were jamming for quite some time. Uh, we were then... flipping jamming in my little dorm room, innit? And we didn't have a drum kit at first, so Fred was playing the drums on the keyboard. But then we managed to make a drum kit out of, what was it? A bin? It was a banjo. A bin, a banjo. And like an alarm. A bike bell. helmet. And some fire alarm yeah. that we ripped off the wall. It was already broken. We didn't just take a... It was like an old fire alarm. I didn't just rub a fire alarm. They still got it somewhere, you know? Yeah. There's a little momentum, man. It's nice. But yeah, I guess we've been like jamming, but not... weren't taking it too seriously, like writing songs here and there. And then... Like the past year or so, we released music and then kind of, mm. don't know, gone for it a little bit more. I yeah. reckon. Actually, write songs. Actually, Actually writing write songs, songs and not just messing about. We still mess around most of the time. Yeah. To be honest. That's the fun of it, though. Like yeah. I feel like we write, we write songs and we've released stuff. I feel like mm. when I have the most fun is when we exactly. Just jump. I, I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but for me, it's like obviously I take it seriously, but it's like it's more than just like, oh, I just want to be in a band, you know? This mm. is some cool man. I'm in a band. I just want to have fun, man. <laughs> I just want to flip and chill out. And just play the bass with people. Cool people. Not that you guys are cool. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. You're not cool either. Maria's not too cool. It's this jacket, man. Flipping the farmer. Flipping <laughs> <over> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, that's how we met. Uh, we're actually doing sort of a collaboration thing right now with our mate Spencer, a.k.a. Ghost Story. He's a Scottish kind of spoken word guy, but I don't just want to say spoken word because he's a bit of a, what's the word sort I'm looking like for? Sort of like techno. Yeah, man. Just some heavy stuff. Yeah. Dude, it's great. Very unique. He's yeah. so, that's why we like him because no one sounds like Spencer. Mm. No one can be Spencer. And no one looks like Spencer. Because he's got this sweet, have you seen his new wolf tattoo on his flipping head? No. Mm. Oh, it's like this giant wolf there, man. It's cool. If I was flipping <laughs> cool and scary, I'd do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're, Cecil's joining us too. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Cecil. Uh, yeah. Cecil. A Salford producer. Love you, Cecil. Uh, and then as well, Blake Solomon Berger. Solomon Blake, sorry. He's going to sing on that song. And our mate Al from upstairs. Yeah. Playing yeah. the bongos. The boys. The boys. Yeah, so we don't know. We need to write that song. <laughs> but the one with Spencer, we've recorded it. We just need to mix it. Mm. And I don't know when it will be out, maybe. Uh, Two months, three months, three months, four months, four months, six months. Whenever we, whenever we do it. <laughs> but then as well, we're working. We did a little work with, well, it was like a cast thing with the Manchester Jazz Festival. Oh yeah. Where we had to write like a song based around improvisation in it. So we've written. Well, we still haven't finished it. We finished the first bit, but it's a song about turtles hatching. So we're gonna record that eventually, and release that. There's a little old... Pretty soon, no? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Hmm? Just be ambitious, guys. Let's do that. Let's <laughs> finish that. I just remembered as well, there's that, uh, there's that other thing we do with Nick. Um, I would talk about it, but I don't really know the details. <laughs> what thing is this? Where we've got to record a song and send it in. It's for oh. like a... Uh, Oh, that's what we're doing the toe tune for, man, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's... I think that's September, that one's coming out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remembered. Yeah. September. September. Ah, uh, yes, so in September, we got there, guys, we figured it out. Uh, yes, when was the date again, Marie? The 30th of July. 30th, yeah. The 30th of July. The we'll, Castle Hotel. We'll be headlining at the Castle Hotel. We're, We're very at, excited. With yes. self-help supporting from, from Oxford. Oxford. Yeah, yeah. yeah, really. Good part of the and country. And our mate Alexis, also known as Sabotage Manchester, he's putting it on. So it's going to be 
if it does go ahead, I hope it does. That'd be a little show. And hopefully we sell it out, so buy Please a ticket. Please. <laughs> Please. I need money, man. I need a job. Yeah. <laughs> I need a job. Oh. But yeah, apart from that, we've got another one in the works. Uh, maybe soon, like a socially distanced one, but it's not sorted yet. So It's at Atma. Yeah. Atma. So just follow us and we'll let you know. Uh, at Moby underscore Dickless. Uh, on Spotify as Moby Dickless. We've got a SoundCloud too. We've got some jams on there because we love jamming. Just a bunch of improvised jams. Oh, yeah. I we should about them. do more of that, man. We should just put more yeah, jams yeah. out. But SoundCloud, what's our SoundCloud? Moby SoundCloud Dickless. is it is Moby Dickless as Moby well. Dickless. Uh, we've, the set you're talking about is a set that we did for Fees of Fun. Trees uh, are good. From, with Trees are good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's just a what, five, five song improvised set. Yep. Track About half yeah. an hour long of us just winging it for the most part. Um, yeah. Yeah. So if anyone is interested in that, they can find us on SoundCloud. Or if you want to listen to the proper stuff. The proper stuff. We yeah. are on Spotify, Apple Music, and any other. Oh, we're on platforms. YouTube as well. YouTube. Yeah. We've just recently released a music video as well, which is on our Instagram. Instagram and in our Facebook. Mm. And that's for one of the singles of our previous EP. Mm hmm. Yeah. And that's where you can find us <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Omnipresent. Omnipresent. <laughs>